Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 18 for our FortiGet firewall series. So in this video, we are going to understand how to configure side to side VPN in FortiGet firewall. Okay. So in this video, I am going to cover what is side to side VPN like with the scenario, I'll be explaining what is side to side VPN and step by step, I'll be configuring VPN in FortiGet firewall and I'll be explaining each of the steps why we are doing that particular step. So it will be a detailed video for practical of side to side VPN between two FortiGate devices, right? If you guys want like uh, FortiGate to Cisco or FortiGate to Palo Alto, something like that, you can request in the comment section of the video. I will make a new video for that specific uh, scenario. And also I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end so that it will be easier when you are establishing a side to side VPN and it is a very kind of a daily task that you guys will be getting in case if you are working with some kind of vendor company where the service will be provided to your customer troubleshooting configuration everything you will be getting for side to side VPN. So I'll highly recommend you to watch this video till then so that you can understand and you can apply to your day to day activity. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, uh, before we gonna start and understand side to side VPN, I'll highly recommend you to please watch the day 17 video because I have explained encryption, decryption, uh, what are the algorithm that works with side to side VPN, everything I have explained in a very detailed manner. Okay. So maybe what I can do is I can link that video in that I button, you can click it and you will get that particular video uh, or else you can find that particular video in description box as well okay so please check out and then you come to this video okay so let's get started from here okay so side to side vpn as the name suggests we are connecting one side to another side okay with the help of this diagram we'll try to understand okay so now we have one headquarter and we have one branch now we want to connect the internal network of headquarter to branch internal network this is our this is the connectivity that we want to do now it will go through 40 gate firewall okay now as this is internet internet is having a lot of bad as well as good things that is happening but when we want to send a sensitive data or some kind of private com uh, conversation that we mean, want to do for the organization purpose in that case security is must so for that reason we will be encrypting that particular traffic inside the vpn tunnel so that whatever you are talking on uh, this tunnel nobody can see on internet basically okay so side to side vpn is basically i am connecting one site to basically another site so maybe your site is in us right and this site is in india something like that okay so basically side to site is nothing but a one basically subnet to another subnet okay one uh, uh, a branch to another branch or headquarter or anything whatever comes in your mind basically one office to another office something like that okay now we'll go to the topology and we'll try to understand the topology and we'll do a practical with very very detailed steps okay there are few other methods not few only two methods that is possible one is manual one is basically a template which is already created for vpn which i will be explaining during the practical of side to side vpn okay so let's move on to the practical okay and then we can get started with the device configuration 
so friends let's move on to the lab now so this is our topology uh, let me explain you about the topology first so this is site 1 and this is site 2 okay now we have one forty gate over here one forty gate over here now this forty gate will be managed through port 1 okay so here you are seeing port 1 and here also we have port 1 which is basically going to the switch and the switch is connected to our local PC so we will be managing through port 1 okay now port 3 is dedicated for our inside network okay and port 2 is connected to internet basically okay now our target is to connect 10.1.1.0 network to 20.1.1.0 so this is our target this is what we want to achieve on our lab so we will be configuring side to side vpn onto this 40 gate firewall gateways and we'll see whether the traffic between these two firewalls are getting encrypted with the help of our configuration or not so this is our target so let's move on to the console of 40 gate and we'll do the configuration so friends this is the dashboard of 40 gate firewall so first of all we have done a initial configuration so we have done the ip addressing for management for outside interface and for inside interface so the configuration is already been done from ip point of view okay so this is site 2 firewall we have to go to site 1 firewall okay and we have already configured the ip addresses so now the first thing that we are going to do is we have to configure the tunnels okay so for that reason we'll go to the vpn first and we'll go to the vpn tunnel okay now we are going to create it vpn tunnel okay now we have few options over here this is the there are two ways we can do it okay one is basically a template type okay so side to side vpn it is already been like uh, if you choose this basically this is the very simple way to configure vpn like related to static route or i can say the policies or basically it will create all the things for you okay and uh, your algorithm everything will be choose chosen by uh, 48 itself so it is very simple everything is basically automated okay now once you choose custom custom meaning that if you have Palo Alto device or let's say if you have if you want to set your parameters in that case you can go for custom okay something like that okay even for Cisco as well we have some template in Fortigit firewall okay so let's move on to the custom because we need to understand the steps that is the reason so this is site one we'll just type it like this name and we'll go to custom and we'll go next okay now in site one we can put any comment if you want okay now here we have some ip v4 address one is static ip address so static ip address meaning that you have to define the ip address of the public ip of other site 40 gate so we are just going to define that so 200.1.1.2 right now from which interface this will be reachable okay so port number three right or it's port number two sorry okay now if you want to enable the natty natty i have not covered it now so we'll disable for now okay we'll we'll do it when we have when we go through that particular session okay now preset key i'll just define a preset key basically okay now we have ike version 1 or 2 we are using ike version 1 right now okay now for phase 1 what would be my authentication or encryption so this is this this is this okay this is the only option that we are going to get is because we don't have license proper license that is the reason it is not allowing me to uh, choose a higher version of encryption algorithm right now okay so by default it has chosen the 
uh, SHA 256. Now this is the DH group value 5 and 12, uh, sorry 14. So I'm just choosing 5. This is the key life uh, timer value, okay, which is there. Now I'm not going to do any AXOTH because AXOTH is required when we are doing remote VPN or something. But right now it is not there. So we are leaving it just like that. Okay. Now we are moving further and in phase two, our, the only thing that we need to define is, uh, we just need to define the local subnet. So for us, for site one, the local subnet is 10 dot. Okay. So this is 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24. Okay. Now if I go and do here, this is the remote subnet for our site two, right? And if you have any other parameters needs to be added, you can go to advanced and you can enable all these options. Okay. Right now I'm just leaving it as a defaults. Okay. And everything we have already conf configured. So remote IP address, aggressive mode, not no, main mode, version one, encryption, DH values, remote and everything we have selected. We just need to click OK. OK. I guess we have to choose another proposal as well. Uh, oh no, I have to delete all this. Let me delete all this and we'll just choose this and we'll click OK. So our side to side VPN tunnel is ready. Now we have to define a static route and we need to define one policy. OK, let's go and do it. So friends, now we'll go to the network and we'll go to the static routes and we'll define a route okay so how what which route that we need to define to reach 20 how we gonna reach it so we'll define like this so 20.1.1.0 slash 24 right so we want to reach over here and how we can reach it we just need to define the vpn that's all we have to do it okay click ok and the route is already created now we don't need any other routes. We'll go to the policy and we'll configure a policy. Okay. Now the policy would be something we have to create two way policy basically. So one is going from site one to site two and one is site one to site two, something like this. So we'll create a new policy name as VPN one. Okay. Now incoming would be port 3 i guess we are we, the traffic will be coming from port 3 and it will be going to port 2 right and the source would be i am just defining as all because i have not created the object so i'm just defining all all okay everything is done right now nat is not required over here click okay okay service will be all fine and we'll click OK. And one we have to create from port two to port one because the traffic has to be coming from other side. So VPN two that is for return traffic. So it is coming from port two to port three. OK. All. All. And service is all and we don't require any NAT okay so the other side the other way around right so all these things will be from port 2 to port 3 and port 3 to port 2 so going from port 3 to uh, port 2 and port 2 to port 3 now we are going to perform the same configuration on this one now here we are going to choose the easier way so that both the ways we will be able to cover in a single video okay so now we'll go to vpn we'll go to tunnels okay 
now we'll create a vpn tunnel now we'll just name it as site 2 okay now i'll be choosing side to side vpn there is no nat between uh, two firewalls if it is nat then nat enable will be there so the, for this uh, scenario we don't have any nat device in between so we'll just choose that we'll go next and we just need to type the remote gateway which is 10.1.1.1 which is reachable via port 2 and we just need to define the pre-shared key okay next now our local interface will be port 3 now it has already chosen the subnet okay i guess we don't need it now we have to define the remote subnet so 10.1.1.0 slash 24 fine next create it now the configuration is created if you go to the static routes site has like static route has been created if you go to the policy uh, in the policy uh, i guess firewall policy now from port 3 to site 2 and site 2 to site 3 so already been created right now okay so it is properly cre it creates an object and everything will be done from this side so you don't need to do anything it is automatically creates the static route the uh, policy so it will be easier for you if you have the template or if you are connecting to one fire, 40 gate firewall to another 40 gate firewall so it is very much easier for you to do it okay now we'll go and to this pc and we'll test the connection okay so now friends we'll go to the test machine and we'll try to initiate a test okay so basically we'll try to ping ping the other ip address the pc ip address we'll try to ping it so we'll check what is the ip address of this pc so ip config if this is not visible for you guys so this is 20.1.1.1 right so we'll close this off and we'll enlarge this and we'll try to ping 20.1.1.1 okay now see whether it's pinging or not so first and after that we can see the request reply that is coming in so we have connectivity now we'll go to the firewall and in the dashboard we have to go to the network and we can see it is green now and we can see incoming data outgoing data so basically we have tunnel that is built and if we go to the another one which is go to the dashboard network and we see that the data is ba basically it's incoming and outgoing okay now if you guys want uh, some kind of uh, packet capture so basically what i'm trying to say is let me explain that to you so let's say if you want to do some kind of packet capture on this and this a packet capture if you want to read the wireshark capture let me know in the comments i will try to create a new video for you guys okay the more the comment is the more the chances will be for that particular video and, uh, i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me if you have any suggestion related to my video please uh, put it on the comment or send me an email or uh, on facebook or instagram message whatever you want to do thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next